I'm not an artist that strives to be avant-garde. I'm interested in taking traditional things and adding to that dialogue. I have no interest in inventing something from outer space, you know? Influences work for a lot of artists this way. Like, it's not just one thing. It's a whole stew pot full of stuff that I'm looking at. I think I'm most inspired by, by cultural artifacts, despite the fact that there's, like, nature in my work. And a lot of artists, you, you know, you hear interviewed say, like, nature inspires them. No, I'm not inspired by nature. I don't go outside very much. <laughs> so something like Dream of the Fisherman's Wife was inspired by... Japanese shunga prints. There are many prints on that theme, which is not safe for work. And I found them interesting and inspiring. But after it was done, I came to realize that it also had other influences that were subconscious. One of them being Lars von Trier's movie, Breaking the Waves. That sort of surprised me because I saw the movie a second time and realized it was her face. And another inspiration that's completely unrelated to the subject matter is that I had been to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and there's a giant um, a rotunda with a circular painting in it, and that Dream of the Fisherman's Wife is actually a full circle. That's just one octopus, and if you were able to bend it, and one ocean, it's continuous.